Hey everyone, Dr. Graham here from East Coast Chiropractic and we've got episode 11 of Spinal Health TV. And today in particular I wanted to talk to you about the low back and a couple of mobilizations you can do to decompress that area. We've done a video before on mobilizing the hips to try to unwind that low back if you're experiencing discomfort, but the exercises we gave were not particularly easy. So this is a simpler version, kind of a beginner's progression to take some tension out of those hips to help that low back. Usually the two are involved, not all the time, but often. So what I want to show you first is how to mobilize your hips and actually stretch that capsule as deep in there as well as the big glute or the kind of the butt muscle essentially. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your ankle up onto your knee. Now you might find already this is a big stretch, it's difficult, and you're hovering up here. If that's the way it is, that's the way it is. But ideally, you're going to be able to let that fall and you'll be as flat as possible here. So one little cue. The tendency for a lot of people is to flop. When you do that, you're creating slack and you're actually going to get less of a stretch to that area that we want to mobilize. So always mobilize a good tall posture. You want to create movement in a posture uh, and a pattern that is actually reproducible in life that is healthy. So nice and tall in an upright postural design and all you're going to do is think about hinging at that hip. So if I had a rod that went right through my hips, I was just gonna bend over that keeping tall posture. And it really doesn't take long until you experience that deep stretch. And you're gonna feel it in the side that the knee is bent. So all I would do here is just mobilize until I start to feel that stretch. And even for me, I start to get a pretty deep stretch there right away. So a couple different ways you can structure this. If that stretch is extremely intense for you, you might find just going into a hold for a few seconds and then relaxing and then going into a hold and try to deepen it each time is helpful. Or if you can really get in there and you're comfortable, you can sink in and hang out for, for 60 seconds, even two minutes, okay? So that's step one. The other one is to engage the hamstring and do a little what's called flossing for the nerve, nerve roots that come out of the low back, okay? So what you're gonna do is lie on your back. This could be anywhere. This could be on a floor, this could be on a bed. It's really up to you. And what you're gonna do is bring your knee up to about 90 degrees here. And I'm gonna bring it even a little further to increase the stretch. I'm going to straighten my leg, and when I get to the top, I'm gonna to point my toes. And then I'm going to reverse it. So straighten and point. Nice and controlled. And again, if that's really intense, you might start here. And you're going to straighten. You're not gonna be at a nice 90, but that's okay. And you're gonna point. But what this will do is help mobilize and elongate the hamstring, the posterior chain here, while taking off any pressure of those nerve roots that might exist as a result of that tissue tension. So, as always, that's one piece of the puzzle. We're not really looking at tissue strengthening or any of those types of issues, but that can be a helpful mobilization to unwind that low back. Hope that's helpful for you, and if you have any questions, let us know.